For me, it's um, you have to recognise what you do well. You have to recognise weak areas and what you can do to improve those weak areas. You have to challenge yourself. So, as I said, for me, I, I left the, the academy environment, so to speak. Um, I was academy director uh, at the Premier League club and uh, I was comfortable in that environment. And I knew I had to challenge myself. I then became a, a sporting director at Brentford. I'd coached the first team for six months and I became sporting director. And now you get to know the players in a different light. You have the players on the pitch, the training, etc., the match environment, which is fine. Now you've got the players with the contracts and the agents and the various aspects that come along with that as well. So you get to know that, that challenges you. Now you go back into the first team environment as manager and you have a better all-round perception um, of what makes that player tick. You know, what outside influences might impact his performance on the park. Uh, and it's, your, it's improving your knowledge, your all-round knowledge. It's, it's not enough. The easy part for me would be the going there and do the training session. That's the easy part. That's the enjoyable part. Nice, nice pitch, sun shining, 22 players, fantastic. But then you have to deal with all the off-field matters as well, because these are professional athletes in a highly competitive world. And you have to make sure, as I say earlier, give them the best chance of being successful. I think what you have to do is be honest. That's the key word for me with the players. This is our game plan, here's our pre-season. This is what we hope to achieve. This is what represents success for us as a group of players and staff come the end of the season. Then you set short-term targets. So for us, it would be six game targets. What points do we expect out of these six games? And challenge the players. And you have to incentivise them, not necessarily financially. It could be a day off, it could be whatever. But you have to make sure that there's an incentivisation for them. And there are short-term targets. So what do we plan to do? You know, and if we fall below those targets, why? Why do we fall below? What didn't we do well? What could we have done better? And you're in it together. You're not alienating an individual or a unit. I hear you know, the, the defensive side were awful. We defend as a team, we attack as a team. So it is us together. And if you can foster that, that team spirit, that self-belief as one group in one direction, and it does sound a bit basic. You hear that, that phrase too often. We're all pulling in the same direction. We well, have to be. You have to be every staff member, you know, be it, be it the chef, be it the kit man, be it the first team coach, be it the analyst. You're all there. You all care passionately about the boys doing well. You want them to do well. We should all do well together. And if you can get that right, then any problem, as you said, that crops up, be it a poor one of games, two or three defeats, be it a poor away performance, you're in it together and you resolve the issue together and hopefully you find the right solution. I think uh, you've got to see yourself and say, do I add value? As a coach, be it academy director or an assistant under 11 coach, under nine, whatever it may be, do I as an individual add value to this system, to this development model? If I, you know, what do I have to do to make sure I keep adding value? And that was what I always found. I always, you, know, you have to challenge yourself. You have to go the extra mile. You may be the last one at the session locking the gates at 10 o'clock. You may be the first one there in the morning. Whatever it may be, you add that value, as basic as it may sound. Take the visit, go to the course, you know, I'm, I'm tired, I need to see the family. And, but you have to go and get yourself qualified as best you possibly can. And the moment you stop pushing, others will go past you. The moment you stand still, others just fly past because it's the, it's the world's game. You know, everyone wants to be involved in football. They want to be in the, the highest possible position. They want to keep pushing forward and they'll show a hunger and an appetite to, to educate themselves. You have to make sure you do the same. But if you can turn around and say, I add value by doing this, and I think you've been a good place.